Have you ever had USDT or another stable coin on one ecosystem but then wanted to buy another coin and another ecosystem? Well, bridges make that whole process a lot easier. What's up? My name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, I'll show you how to bridge tokens from the Avalanche ecosystem to the Phantom ecosystem, but you can actually also bridge from a bunch of other chains. Now, bridging between different ecosystems becomes even more important if you're looking for small cap gems, IDOs, or if you want to test out new projects for airdrop opportunities. This is part of what we share in the DeFi Academy, plus a detailed exit strategy, a whole portfolio and all of our trades, and my much, much more. And the best thing is that we've got a Halloween special coming up this weekend that gets you a whopping 40% discount. If you'd like to snag one of those limited discounted spots, then go down in the description, subscribe to my newsletter, and you'll get all the information to join. All right, now I'll show you two options to bridge tokens from Avalanche to Phantom. One is on SpookySwap and the other one is on Synapse Protocol. So let's first get started with SpookySwap. So this is SpookySwap and on the top you can see there is the bridge option. So it will automatically choose Ethereum, but if you click on that, you see you have a bunch of other options. So for our example, we'll choose Avalanche. Now for all of these options, you actually need MetaMask. If you haven't installed that yet, I've got a tutorial about that linked on top of my head. But what you need in that case is that you need to make sure that your MetaMask is set on Avalanche. So you can see here, it's set on Avalanche mainnet C chain. And then we swap from this chain to the other chain and that is Phantom in that case. Next, you need to select the token that you want to bridge. And what you need to be aware of is that the token has to exist on both ecosystems. So you can actually just click on select a token and then you you see what you have as an option so it's mostly stable coins and then also a couple of other ones but what I find most useful is do it, doing it with stable coins so I mostly use USDT and then here it shows you the the balances that I currently have now I want to swap I want to bridge from Avalanche to Phantom so I have uh, a bit over nine USDT on my in my Avalanche wallet so I can either click on max here and then you see it automatically chooses it. But right now I just want to uh, I just want to bridge uh, for USDT. Okay, so it just says that this is below the minimum. You can see here the minimum is 12 USDT. So I'll just swap a bit more and then I'll show you the bridge. All right, I've now got 15 USDT in my Avalanche wallet. So now I can swap, now I can bridge 12 USDT from Avalanche to Phantom. So once I've selected that, I simply have to click on approve FUSDT for Phantom click on confirm so we actually have to do it twice so we'll do that again so that's just for both chains and once that has both been approved you can click on bridge token okay so that transaction has gone through and if we wait a few more seconds seconds you'll see that the balances will update automatically all right now you can see that i've got three usdt left on avalanche and it will soon appear on phantom all right now that has also appeared on phantom and once that's in there you can use it on the whole phantom ecosystem and you can buy whatever other coin you want now i've actually got a couple of beginners guides coming up for all of those ecosystems that walks you through everything from getting the base layer token to buying small cap gems in the end so if you're feeling a bit lost here, just subscribe to my channel and you'll see those guides coming up in the next couple of days. So that's the first option that I usually use to, to swap between those two chains. All right, now the second option is Synapse Protocol. So let's quickly look at that as well. So we, we also want to swap. So we also want to bridge from Avalanche to Phantom and we'll use USDT again because this is what I've got. So I just bridged a bit back so that I've got enough funds in here. So again, let's use the same example. So let's say I want to bridge 12 USDT. I could, then I have to choose the Phantom ecosystem here. I could theoretically also bridge from USDT to another coin here. So that's quite handy, but I prefer to just do it in the same currency. So we'll choose 12 USDT and I want to get the same currency back down here in the Phantom ecosystem. Now, what you need to be aware of is that you have to pay a certain fee. So once that's all good, you can click on bridge token and then again, confirm it in MetaMask. All right, now that has gone through. You can see that it has been deducted from my avalanche amount here. And if we click on USDT on Phantom here, you can see that uh, it has been added here. So now this is ready to use on the Phantom ecosystem. Again, don't forget to subscribe to get all the beginner's guides that come up in the next couple of days. So if this is too advanced, don't worry, they will come up and you can then follow step by step to get started in those ecosystems. 
All right, so that's how you convert tokens from the Avalanche ecosystem to Phantom and also to a couple of other ecosystems that you've seen in the list. I usually use those two because these are the most interesting to me at the moment. If you want to see all of my trades and my whole portfolio, then don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter and definitely keep an eye on your inbox because we've got those emails coming out for the Halloween special that only lasts for three days and has limited spots. So go down in the description and subscribe to my newsletter now. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!